I actually think like a lot of decks are just too fast for Scapeshift to keep up with. At least like this variant of Scapeshift. It's not running very good interaction. It doesn't have pending, it doesn't have leyline binding. It's the same issue I have with red green Scapeshift. Adding the blue just doesn't do a whole lot. No, I played just played against Hammer. That was round one of the prelim. It's rough. I'm gonna get Blood Moon, aren't I? Will modern format ever come to Arena? Probably not. I'm also of the opinion that they should just like scrap Arena entirely. <laughs> I feel like if they just scrapped Arena and they like updated MTGO to be something that it, I know it can be, I think that would just be a lot better. How the fuck do I ever beat this Blood Moon? the fuck nintendo <laughs> i can't ever beat this blood moon all right i guess i'll die don't have a land maybe i say is they haven't played anything for the first two turns of the game yeah they're just gonna do whatever with historic arena's off in its own like little planet the only thing it shares is standard with the mtgo really i guess that's about it i mean Historic, Alchemy, Explorer. It's just a different game, it feels like. Standard's fine on Arena. But at the same time, you get into the whole issue of, like, Arena economy. And how it's not great. Our cards from Marauder Horizons 2. Oh, they didn't have a third untapped land. I'm just gonna get hit by this Raghavan, because I didn't put this into play untapped. I need... I need that remand first off. Second off, I need to besage you. Tilt. Thanks, Hamster. I ended up joining a prelim instead of doing leagues. They, like, put the prelim online right as I went live or something. Because I checked earlier and it wasn't there. I was like, all right, I guess I'll just do leagues today. Got the prelim at the last two minutes. Personally, I'm... There's two things I dislike about Arena. Other than them not having, I guess, three things. Because one of them is them not having the eternal formats. One of them is that the economy is just mad predatory. And it just wants you to sink more and more and more money into the game. Without really having any return. Aside from the cash prizes that you could win on their select tournaments. I take issue with that because I like being able to have the freedom to essentially cash out of Moto whenever I want to. Which is really nice. I also don't like the arena aesthetic. I think the like square looking cards with just a picture. It's not very intuitive as a viewer. If you can't like hover over them. Like I get it that they have the extension on Twitch. I should have probably dressed down. I should have dressed down. If they have like the Twitch extension that lets you hover over the cards it's fine. But like if I'm watching a YouTube video. I don't know what those cards do. From Explorer, Arena, Historic. Like I don't know what they do. And it makes it kind of hard as a spectator. Yeah, the animations are unnecessary. Like, when you have cards in your hand, it looks like this. Like, how is this a good viewer experience? This is arena mode. Please. Like, what is this? <laughs> I'm done ranting. It is very predatory. Back to never being able to beat this Blood Moon. I don't want to dress down this because then it gives him a 3-3 Double Striker and I really can't beat that. So I'll let this one go. No scam today. We entered a last minute prelim. I was just planning on playing a league with this deck. Because I honestly I don't think Team Escape Shift is like that good. But a prelim popped up so I was like, mm, impulse click the prelim. Sure. I guess I'm just going to dress down an end step. Maybe try to top deck a bolt and not take two damage. Besage you in basic forest waiting room. This isn't happening. Besage you. I think I'll take some force of vigors as well. I hate remand. I hate remand so much.
If there's ever a card I played with that just never clicked with me, this has got to be it. Three man feels like it's just never been good for me. I don't know if y'all have ever experienced that, where you just like play a card that is supposed to be strong, or like a, an archetype that's supposed to be strong, and then it, you just can't win with it, and you're just like, wow, this just feels not powerful. <laughs> Explain why Flusterstorm is good. Flusterstorm is good against the Cascade decks. I don't think I want these remands, but it's like my only defense against Blood Moon, but... It's not even a defense against Blood Moon, because they just bring it down the next turn anyways. Get him out of here. Flusterstorm's also good at fighting counter wars against, like, control. But you have Veil of Summer for that, so it's Veil of Summer's typically better. Just win in your turn. I know hard to win in my turn when I have to have seven lands in play, and I have to, like, remand a three drop. This hand I'll keep. Rhino's played Cryptic Command, some lists do. I've seen more or less play Archmage's Charm, but I have seen one Cryptic Command out of Rhinos before. It's like a pseudo time walk. Not a permanent answer though, that's my real issue with it. It just doesn't answer anything. It just reminds me of another Explorer. That's all it reminds me of. It's like icing a land. But in the decks that play ice, you're like, you're relic and all right, whatever. In the decks where you play Ice, you're just like going to untap on turn 3 and cast a Shardless Agent. Which is incredibly powerful and makes it so that way Ice is very impactful on 2. Where it's like remand. You're, I'm remanding here and I'm untapping and I'm casting what a dry out of the Elysian Grove. I'm not going to play this beside you. I need it for the Blood Moon. The inevitable Blood Moon. Man leak over it? Maybe. I'd probably just play Spell Pierce. I think Spell Pierce is crazy good right now. Just can't cast anything. Maybe I am supposed to play Besaidu Dryad. I don't know. It's so hard to say, right? Because if they just Blood Moon me, then I'm just back at square one. Having nothing. Because of the layering issue. Blood Moon wins over Dryad if I play Dryad first. I have no blue mana. <laughs> I have a basic mountain. I must Besaidu this Blood Moon. I have to. Is my duty. That's not what I expected. This plays three copies of the Teamer Triome. I just haven't drawn a fetch land. I just keep drawing lightning bolts. Mm. Am I supposed to play Beseju Dryad? They're just going to keep... If I don't do anything to advance my board, they're just going to keep playing like other non-Blood Moon threats. It's, I don't know. Five more bolts and you kill them. I could just hope they don't have Blood Moon. I think it's what I do. Otherwise, I'm just going to die to whatever else they have in hand that's not Blood Moon. And I don't think they have five lands in hand. <laughs> I don't know if I can afford to play around it. I'm just going to continually miss land drops. Unless I get access to blue mana. Which... It's a shitty position either way. What's up, Poppy? What are you doing? Yeah, I mean, this is a really shitty position for me. Wait one more turn, maybe. Say I wait one more turn. And then they do play the Blood Moon. I besage them. I ramp them up to 5 mana. And they have a Fable, and I have nothing. And then I play my Dryad. 9 turn clock, yep. Good thing I can cast spells in my hand. I'm gonna kill both of these. Oh wait, this is still every color? I didn't know that. What? That's news to me, I didn't know this was every color. Alright, well today I learned I can actually cast the spells in my hand apparently. I guess it's because it's a basic, so it's not affected by Blood Moon. No, the Dryad came down before, because these only tap for red, but the basic bound taps for everything. I didn't know that. I guess we do have a chance after all. 
So I should have dressed down on this then. That was a mistake. I didn't even think about it. Makes sense though. It's not being affected. Mountain. Confirmed best card of all time. I have a stomp. Glad I kept this Force of Vigor. And not a Dryad now. God damn it. <laughs> Does Blood Sun stop Nyctos? I don't remember the exact wording, but I think so. Because it prevents all, like... No, is that making a mana? I don't know. I don't say it's a mana ability. I don't remember the exact wording on Blood Sun. Should have kept the second Dryad. Could force the moon that doesn't do anything now. Alright, so go. Pioneer needs Blood Moon. They just need to ban Nick those. Rest Town doesn't stop Magus. We'll stop that though. Getting all the weird niche interactions. No. This doesn't... Unless I'm sorely mistaken, I'm pretty sure Dress Down does not take this text away. Or is it this that it doesn't take away? Or is it both? Tap the land? Well, the... Yeah, that's what I thought. No, like, the Blood Moon's still out, right? So I'd have to kill the Blood Moon first, but I'm pretty sure this still has this text. Or the mountains, these will be mountains. Because Dress Down doesn't stop Dryad either. I know the actual moon's still out, but this Dress Down doesn't stop Dryad, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't stop Magus either. Kill the Blood Moon for science, I guess I'm going to lose this game anyways, so might as well. We'll do it for science chat, but I'm like 99% sure my lands will still be mountains. One of these do I want to pitch, I guess the growth spiral because it's uncastable. Nope, still mountains. See chat, still mountains. That's how I thought it worked, but I wanted to do it for science anyways. I can't win this game. Cannot win that game. It's one more match in the prelim. So then I guess we'll try this hand. We can go Stomping Ground, Island Growth Spiral. Put the Valakut into play, lose. See, now we're playing against decks we can prey upon, like Control. Every time we approach the 01 bracket, Hollowed Fountain shows up. Every time, without fail. Like, oh, 01 bracket, huh? Here's the Hollowed Fountain. This deck folds to Control. Well, currently the deck is folding to itself. Please let this resolve. Oh, lands. Lands! All I've ever wanted. I think I'm casting the second growth spiral at end step. It could be like Esper Reanimator. Persist. It is Esper Reanimator. Throne Warden. The hell? I drew all four iterations. How did this happen? How did I draw all four iterations? Actually not supposed to happen. Forest Explore. Put the Steam Vents into play. Or that, I guess. And I'll just have Growth Spiral. Grim Manor. Cunning Lethomancer. Close. Bunch of spooky spirits, huh? Mold Drifter. Mold Drifter resolves. Don't attack me. Why would you do this? Thought we were friends. I'm going to bolt this thing after I cycle this growth spiral.
What's up, Jim? Oh, I have enough lands. I need to find the escape shift. You're not an escape shift. Are you a escape shift? You're a escape shift. Bottom, exile this. Will you play the misty escape shift to you? Okay. That went well. I just need to draw every expressive iteration of my deck. <laughs> Not that big of a deal, right? I guess I do want these Veil of Summers because of grief. Four colors so annoying you might get the buy. I don't think I'm gonna- I might get the buy, right? I'm O2. <laughs> Not great. Don't think I want- I'm just gonna cut Remand every game because I hate it. Just went into this knowing I hated Remand and decided to register Remand anyways. Classic. Also, I don't think Bolt's that good, but I'll leave it in a couple. This hand's good. Maybe I should have played this. Yeah, that's fine. We'll survive. So I don't want to play this Graph Digger's Cage. Reman is probably good here, and I still just hate it so much. I think I go Cage, Hold Up, Fluster, or Veil, or Bolt. Faithful Mending, sure. Yeah, we were getting body by Manny on scales. Let's go, Manny. Fuck him up. That's what you get for playing the top tier deck. On the real though, creativity's mad good now. Why did I cast this for two? That's because it's lethal. Smile. Yeah, creativity is everywhere. I think the meta has changed significantly since the new set came out, to be honest. Like... Yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna play round six. I should have left up Veil somewhere. Is what it is. Like... Four color rhinos, I think, is tier one. I think creativity is tier one now. I think scams tier one now. At least 1.5 for all those decks. Glimpse is approaching tier 1. Glimpse got really good. Oh, the prelim can't start yet. Goblins is like tier 1.5. Merfolk's like tier 2 now. Prowess is 1.5. I said Prowess is 2. I think a lot of decks got significantly better. Yeah, elves have been creeping back up as well. Spike's been killing it with elves. That was just still tier 3. It's still tier 3, but it has a chance now. And honestly, a lot of the decks that are in the meta now kind of dunk on 4 color. Like creativity kind of dunks on 4 color a little bit. It's been very interesting. One, two, three, six. Must have bolt. 2.87 now, you're right. What about Daniel Tide? It's the same as it's been. Merc Tide's still tier one. I saw that, like... Oh man, what was that Merc Tide list playing? It was playing something instead of Shredder, and I don't remember what it was. Oh, two Ornithopter mode, yeah. Not great. Vulture. Do be in Ornithopter mode though. Soltari Monk. One lander. Probably can't keep this. I'll keep this. Put back a dryad. Well, the problem with that, Quinn, is that if. I do that, and they untap, slam a blood moon, I lose. 
I didn't have basic forest and I couldn't double bolt the bird that turn unless I fetched up a non-basic. And I don't think that match was about Dryad either. All good. Spike's influence. Spike's influence. Because I didn't have the opportunity to fetch a basic forest to have Besaju for a Blood Moon. Because they play like two Blood Moon now. DT is a beast at art game. Incite War. I'm going to tap this. Ren doesn't do anything because I don't have any fetch lands. This has been like a recurring theme. I just never have any fetch lands for Ren. I guess I'll just ice this instead. Is this like Dahlia's Banner? Knight's Pledge. Classic. Oh, Besaju. The Ren in 6 is so ugly it scares off the fetch lands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Light from within. Oh, I need to return no fetch land. Whatever, play tapped, go. A bird. I guess I just have to sit here and besage them for the next forever. I guess I'll hit the, th the thing that's like threatening my rent at the moment. Because I want to purchase that again. I'd like to rebuy this. Masoleum Harpy. Correct. And unfortunately, just say go. Arm would sleep. Charmed sleep. This is bronze. Horn. Uh, Bronze Horn Scout? Copper Horn Scout. No! No! I have no idea. That chainsaw. Gotta give us next time. I did give you time. What's up, Kyle? How you doing? Chainsaw Man, yes. Alright, Chainsaw Man indeed. We'll take key. That's a lot of mana. Hope you're doing well, Kyle. One million mana. I give you the next art. Nobody knows what it is. I'm chilling, Kyle. Not doing so great. Oh, Karn. Oh, Karn. Not doing so great in the prelim, though. One three the prelim, unfortunately. Can't win them all, though. Especially not when you're playing cards from 2016, like Remand. Skip Stalking Drone. Some Sliver. Needle. Your name Besaju. Like a true coward. No cowards can't block heroes, right? Great Aardvark. Sure, Tubby. Can do. Spiteful Sliver. That thing. I could just upload it on my cardboard live if that's easier. Yeah, I'll just upload it on cardboard live. <laughs> they named Renin Six? Oh, you poor soul. I wish you could draw lands. Standard Mardu good stuff. Okay, go. Mad Ratter, hold on. Calm down. Update. There you go. It should be number two in the list now. It should be after Team Escape Shift 2022. It should say Mardu good stuff. Look at that. We're on a 50 streak. Uh, this is the Red Pact. Pact of the Titan? Yeah, no problem. I need to besage you two Mystic Forges. That'll happen. Copium. Illusory Armor. Oh yeah, Welding Jar too. That'll be good. Big Spider.
killer chalice big door spider i can see that being its actual name Talarian tarantula arc reaver close oh this is the this is that one drop they put in the energy deck in gates of the afterlife uh what was that called the uh god pharaoh's gift no, this is the one drop that, like, tapped to mill things. I'm pretty sure. It, like, costs an energy, and then you mill three, or something like that. Don't remember what it's called, though. It was, like, I want to say something Inspector. Minister. And I start playing MTG 2014. It's, like, Minister. Minister of Inquiries. Tap, enters battle if you get two energy, pay energy, mill three. I actually knew this card, surprisingly. When I start playing it good, never. You need to rephrase your question so it applies to me. Echo Goblin. Hold on, I think. What are they putting in their hand? Paradox Engine? Oh, that's good. Let it go. Just don't care. Might as well save this one for Paradox Engine. Even though they can Welding Jar it. Goblin Patrol. Oh, you were saying that it was a Goblin with Echo. That makes more sense. Yep. Can we kill him? Soon. Soon. We need at least six lands. Sure. I saw a career go to five. If top deck a land, play Besage, you land drives. Yeah, basically something like that. But I also kind of try to not die into this Paradox Engine, because it could kill me. I'm going to untap, untap. They're going to be able to cast it this turn, too. Pretty sure each one of these keys generates a mana. Plus, they can put a charge counter, so each key generates two mana. A Paradox Engine me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Maybe they don't have a follow-up spell to cast. They don't have a Karn. Karn isn't real. Karn can't hurt me. Oh god. Alright, I'm gonna F6 play our game. What is this? Yeah, Forge is gonna kill me. Just have not drawn enough lands with this deck. I haven't drawn any fetch lands to get back. Smithwing Griffin. Smithwing Griff. Or Helion Patrol. I'm just gonna go crazy with it here. Baleful Strix, but spelt like that. Is that a real card? Hold up. There's no way. Oh, Baleful Sphinx. I misspelled Sphinx. Broken. I have 25 mana. Alright. Bell Tower Sphinx. Ornithopter. Walking Corpse. Correct. Oh, this is like a Chroma, Angel of Wrath, Kaya, Ghost Hunter. I don't think this is Ghost Hunter. This is Ghost Assassin. Ghost Hunter was like the newest one that made tokens. Okay, I'm dead. Inexorable. Kaya the Inexorable. I have no idea what this is. Whoa, chill out. Chill, Taryn, the chat's on screen. Is Taryn unhinged today? Got that dog in him. It's like, side like this. I guess Chalice the Void isn't bad. Just cut all the bolts. I kind of can't deal with Karn, but Chalice seems good against them. Dress Town's like, okay. I <laughs> to tell what I'll say on this account, 100. 100 for real, for real. Can't keep this. Can keep this. It's gonna plan on chalicing for one. How is it that I have no fetch lands? This scape shift deck has no fetch lands in it. 
kind of insane. I was planning on chalicing for one to stop all the keys. Maybe I should have done it for zero. Stop all the cornucopias and ever flowing chalices. They can still cast like the cornucopia and chalice eventually. So I feel like it's better just to do it for one. I don't know what this is. Ambuscade Shaman. Mm, locks it on something. Cornucopia for one pass. Let's explore. I don't, I don't really need to find a land drop here, so I think I can just play two lands tapped and say go. Actually, I should play two untapped and just cast Ren. Call to Hell. Call to Heal. Close enough. Knight of the White Orchid. I have no idea. Yeah, close enough. Heal Hell. Pretty much the same thing. I don't want to fetch too many mountains out of my deck, so it's probably the last mountain I'm going to fetch. So I can still kill them. Power Leak. Bunch of lizard people. Alice check. I have given up. Chalice working as intended. I don't know what these lizard people are. Looks like Dorohidoro from just the heads. Uh, Bravado. Correct. It's like Knight Exemplar, I think, or something like that. Mulligan. Can't keep that. I will keep this and put back a Renin 6. Not Knight Exemplar. It does look too new. That is Zori is something. Oh shit. That was a good draw. Acclaimed Contender. This is the thing with Embalm. I'm pretty sure. Sure. Nice go forest wren. Just pick up a fetch land so I have more land drops to hit. Hopefully no Karn. Okay. That's fine too, I guess. Haven of Enduring Hope. Some bug. What'd they get? Got a pithy needle. You don't want to sandbag this beside you. Durant. I'm gonna sandbag this Poseidon. Play Dryad out. Go Island, Dryad, and then just catch Ridge Rhyme. Go. Pressure's the Karn. They Pithy Needle the Ren, but the Poseidon. I just kill them. So you could just kill them next turn if they don't kill the Dryad. I have six lands, I get to go Valakut, 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 Mountains, I guess just whatever. I have to get something to kill this Dryad, whatever that something may be, otherwise they are dead. We'll take key, untap so it generates plus one mana, three, one, two, pump it, three mana, Magistrate Scepter. Chalice Cornucopia. Excuse me? What is this? I think this is play the land. All the way up here at the very top. Alright. <laughs> Read it? No, I don't think I will. Valica, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. No. Thing. I guess I never paid attention to the art of Teleria West. I'll keep it sure. Why not? Haunted Angel, Corrupted Angel. Go Corrupted Angel. 
Wayward Angel. Carry on my wayward son. Is this a sliver? Might be a sliver. Competition, by the way. It's like a sliver. That was a good draw. I can go island, remand. Root beer. I'm not sure it's called root beer sliver. Trust. Angle mantis. Last time I'm trusting John. <laughs> if. Man, fuck John. Honestly. I agree. I don't know what this is. This thing looks mad old. Terran unhinged. I like a Ragavan. Predatory Night Stalker. Fatal Push my Dryad. It's just rude. Angler Drake. DRC, sure. I'm gonna thought sees me. Uh, playing a giant shadow. Good, good. If really he wants to win, maybe you should let him. How would I do that? I need to crush their spirit. Escape shift? Not escape shift. I'm supposed to bolt this DRC. I think I let it smack me once in case they have another shadow. They deserve the win, you're right. Shadow is a cooler deck than escape shift. I've been having a miserable time playing escape shift. I think Aether Chandler could be viable in the glimpse. I don't think it does enough, to be honest. It's an interesting idea though. I think the best home for Aether Chandler is probably Spike's Bant Coco deck. All my homies hate John. You are John's homie. Therefore, you hate John? Mmm. That makes sense. That adds up. I need to stop drawing air. Hook so. Okay. I will discard the Besaju. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll discard the Besaju. Don't need any more lands. Iteration. Channel the iteration. Montagna DRC. Hmm. Montagna DRC. Hey, Mirido, thank you for the follow. I'm gonna remand their croaks, I guess. Bird. Sure. They went with bird and not croaksa? Why, though? Escape shift? Not escape shift. You never escape shift. Too far. Right, I guess I play this. And I have five mountains. If I draw another one, that can start killing their creatures. Why would you draw a thought seeds like that? Yeah, it's probably holding drown, which is why I need to top escape shift that turn and like remand the drown. Would have worked out pretty nicely. But now I'm just getting my explore taken instead. I casted the reman in case I hit like a land here. Didn't end up happening or an instant lightning bolt. Played it tapped. They have no interest in the Kroxa. Escape shift. So tired of these remans. This card could be anything, and the creator of the deck chose Reman. Pretty sure the last card's drowned on the lock. The last card's drowned on the lock. I should Reman this anyways, because 
let's say it is drown and lock, which it is. So this is gonna kill me. Even if I let that Croaks resolve, and I discard Remand, then I draw into Escape Shift, they drown the Escape Shift and I die anyways, so. Didn't really matter. I don't want Chalice, I want Engineered Explosives. Ah, my favorite part of sideboarding, cutting all the Remands. Any Chalice on one's good. It's better than having, like, Lightning Bolt, though. I suppose it could be. So I can do that. Call Lightning Bolts. Age against Croaks, though. I feel like if we're getting to that point in the game, we're probably already losing. So I was just running like this. Not having Lightning Bolt might be sketchy against them. But I don't feel like I want to be playing both Chalice and Lightning Bolt. Did I side in the Flusters? I guess I added, I, I shouldn't have sided in the flusters if I was bringing in Chalice on one. Should have had lightning bolts instead. It's fine. Unlike this hand with no fetch land. We'll draw a fetch land, copium. At least this pings a Raghavan. Or a DRC. And it's kind of resilient to a Thoughtseize. We're trying to be super optimistic here. See, everything worked out. Now I just need to draw a fetch land. Simple enough, right? What is this? Is this like combat tactics? Ambush tactics? I'm gonna ice them. An untap expressive? I don't think that's what it's called. Good guess, though. Skip also F John. Familiar Ground. Don't know what that is either. Oh, that's a Furious George. Furious George connects for two. Trespasser Ilvec. An extra T. I'm getting inquisitioned. Hmm. Depopulate. Like a sweeper. Just a sweeper. Fuck art game. Art game's difficult. I guess I'm just playing this chalice on one. Taking the red up Sango. This EE e can go on two at some point. Kill my Ren. Kill their Ledger Shredder. Hmm. Oh no. Basic Forest. You don't like my Streets of New Capenna Forest that I forgot to change out? It's very draft chaff like in nature. Yeah, no, I forgot to just. I forgot to change this. <laughs> I had a minute left when I built this deck to enter it into the prelim. So I like panicked. And now I have this. Start pinging him. About to. Ape shift to the rebuy your lands. It's not the worst idea. Ping you go. So you got seven more turns, buddy. Actually, six more turns, because one turn I get to go ping you, and then play another one, and then ping you again. Your days are numbered, old man. Not enough pings, that's okay. They'll fetch. End step dress down. Got me. Hmm. We no longer have to be on the ping strategy, although I kind of like the ping strategy. They did fetch. Are we back on the ping strategy? Mediocre pings to study to. I'm changing the chat. <laughs> that should have been the title of the stream. Mediocre pings to study to. You know, it's not too late. Mediocre ren pings to study to.
they've given up. They couldn't beat mediocre pings to study to. I think that's the first time I've ever literally killed somebody with Ren. Like that. Just eight turns of pinging them. Alright. Ooh, double chalice. They're probably gonna take Ren from me. Also, no fetch land, by the way. A actually, I need to know. How many fetch lands is this deck running? Because it feels like two. It's running seven. Yeah, that probably needs to be changed. Yeah, it needs like at least ten. Because these wrens have been less than ideal. I'm going to take one of my chalices. I'll probably take the wren. I actually don't know. Is this DRC is about to be a 3 3? Oh, they drew a second land. Ledger Shredder. Expressive Iteration, sure. Oh, I could put a Chalice on two and lock myself out of the game. But it would also lock them out of the game. Hmm. I don't know if that's worth it. I don't think that's worth it. Nobody plays Magic. Mm, tap better. I want to play this Ren. I don't know if I want to play this Ren. That's pretty painful. I'm just going to play this Catcher of Trial and play second Chalice on one. Maybe I'm supposed to play this Chalice on two after all. Next turn I can go like Ren Chalice on two. Yeah, I'll just wait. Probably play Valakut and not Duel. I don't know if it matters that much. Get a Growth Spiral last turn. Yeah, maybe we're supposed to get just Growth Spiral. I just didn't want to take the two damage. Bluster Storm, Mountain Stomping Ground. I think it's kind of funny that I can Bluster Storm through Chalice still. Thank you, Triggered Ability. I get by Gigantha, a legal attack. Sends it after me. Forest. Okay, I think it's Chalice on two time. This might screw me. Or they might just counter it, one of the two. Let it go. Playing the forest was kind of insane. Huge punt playing the forest. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was a punt. You're right. I forgot about natural Valakut. Yeah, that was a punt. Whoopsies. Yeah, that was a mistake. You get to fluster this, though. Now I kill the DRC with a natural Valica trigger while I'm at three. That's why. That was a punt. Now if I draw, like, an explore effect that I can't even, like, play both of them. I just need to draw escape shift. Escape shift. Alright, well, we got one more. I probably could have won that last match. I was just punted him. Punted it into non existence, Mulligan. We'll keep this. Yeah, right, my bad. I didn't think about it. <laughs> True junkie. True. Marco Swamp Relic. Maybe coffers. Oh, resolves. I didn't ice them because I want to hold growth spiral. And it's foil too. That's how you know they mean business. Seven is the magic number that we're trying to get to. We need to have at least six mountains in the deck. I think I'm about to ice them and then 
Plague Growth Spiral, most likely. Ice the Beatland. Plague Growth Spiral, try to hit fit land. And ice their Lily. It doesn't work if it's tapped, right? Oh, I shouldn't have iced that land, because then they can draw and fizzle it. I should have iced some other land. That's a little bit worse than a stone rain. Might still be fine. Didn't think about that either. It's kind of the point in the night where I'm just kind of playing a little bit loose. I'm also not like super familiar with scape shift. Only played it a handful of times. Not playing very tight. Yeah, I did want them to tap that. Express of ice probably. I think I do this. I think I just bolt them. And then ice their Urza Saga. This one you can't sacrifice. Steve, so I need to get the seven lands. How many mountains are gone? Just these five. So I have seven mountains left in the deck. Ah, I have two. Oh, I'm taking the Steve. Steve's like a guaranteed land drop. This is a maybe land drop. Escape shift. I have another thought season. They get me for sure. Okay. Second thought season. Now this is a problem. I kind of need to draw into another escape shift. The dryad to go. Really, really need to draw into a escape shift. This is the rack. Why? What? Now I'm just confused. They're playing the rack. And they have the wrong lily. Alright. Why isn't this lily out of the veil? Boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to land into escape shift. I play both. Yeah, they very well could play both. I need to tap better. Red. Red and six. I don't want to ping this lily. I don't think I care about this lily. I just crack this, return it to my hand, hit a land drop again. I just hope to top deck escape shift. I should not have fetched a mountain. So seven mountains left in my deck. Which is more than enough. I need to stop fetching mountains. I have one draw at escape shift here. Are they playing Plague Engineer? They named Dwarf. I'm so confused. Plague Engineer though. This puts me to one. Ouch. And that's not gonna do it. Veil of Summer. This force isn't like the worst. I want like two forces, the Besaju. I don't think I want Fluster. I'll tell you what I don't want, Reband. Never want Reband. <laughs> Reband probably still sucks. Reband has just been awful all day. Let's escape shift turn four for like one or two Valakas, then just kill them by playing lands. Yeah, maybe. Although they took both of my escape shifts like on the same turn. You play counter spell in your version, it's probably way better. I imagine the double blue is like hard to hit sometimes when you're playing a bunch of Valakas. So I get why they don't play like counter spell. A different mana. I know some variants used to play like a Cascade Bluffs for that exact reason. Plus counter spell. And, I mean, Cascade Bluffs is probably okay. It doesn't really hurt your central game plan of, like, escape shift into one of your 12 mountains. Or, six of your 12 mountains. Sure. Imagine they take Steve. I don't really know. It could be anything. But the escape shift. Yeah, I take the Steve. That's my only guaranteed land drop. I'm not gonna reveal information. But I will ice them. 
Should we try doing like the scape shift on turn four? If they let us, they don't thought seize me. Hi, scape shift. Silent Leprechaun. Oh, isn't this Chandra's Fury? Either Chandra's Fury or Chandra's Inferno. One of the two. I can pitch FOV here to prevent them from casting a 3-drop. Oh, that's Incendiary Flow. That must be new art, Incendiary Flow. Was that old art? No, oh, I guess that was old art. I remember this as Incendiary Flow, but this is apparently a promo. I don't know what that is. Is it worth it to force just the Surge of Saga? I have Dress Down in hand, so I don't think it is. I'll just let it go. To make a bunch of constructs, I can just dress them down. Or rock. I'm gonna bolt this thing, get the pressure off of me. Imagine they take dress down, or maybe the force took the dress down. Oh, we got a bunch of Malak, bunch of mountains, and a Valakut. Bunch of Malakut. <laughs> Relic, sure. Oh. Gonna hard cast this on there's a saga in the construct. I don't care about this relic. Oh, I should have exiled anything but that land in case I draw a Ren. Might come back to bite me. I just clicked on like a random card. Means Relic plus Saga. Made a construct. Fuck a 1-1. One, one. Alright, I'm gonna do Relic plus Saga. I see. Apparently Lithoform Bile. Who would have thought? Not me. Not me. I had to blight their own thing. That was like the best draw of all time. Pretty go to draw. Veil is so messed up. Can you stop? Don't appreciate you targeting my things. I have nothing in the graveyard. Never do. Never do. They're just dead, right? Land, land, scape shift. One, two, three, four, five, six. As long as they don't kill Dryad, then they're dead. I imagine they would have killed Dryad already if they had it. Outplayed. I drew two cryptic commands. I could have slaughter packed. Okay, didn't have slaughter packed. Try not to get lithoform blighted. I think this hand's okay. Yeah, lithoform's like not a bad card. It's kind of like spreading seas, but much worse. Which, if they blight me here, I'm going to be sad. But hopefully they play Urza Saga, and then play Blight. I can't believe they just drained me on turn two. In this economy? <laughs> gotta be above the scary scape shift number, maybe. But, like, gotta stay above 18. They probably just take the scape shift. Yep, they take the scape shift.
So I get forest and then island with Steve. We're not gonna natural scape shift them this game. Like natural valley could kill them, I don't think. We do not have a breeding pool. Am I discarding? I'm gonna leave, let the Steve stick around then. And then bolt the lily. Like a tag it with Steve, bolt it. Fire. Well, fire doesn't kill it, right? Bolt will kill it though. I think I discard the fire. I'll discard the fire, sure. Discarded Plague Engineer, but that could have come down and named Snake. My Dryad's also not great here. Get him, Steve. I kind of feel like I should... Hmm. I'll set the make a construct. I'm going to have four natural mana anyways. I can just force... Hit the saga, hit the construct. Am I keeping the iteration? I keep the iteration, right? Keep the force of vigor or the iteration? Ah, decisions. So I'm going to get an island with Steve. So I can cast the iteration... I can hit a land drop off the iteration, probably. I don't have a Misty in my deck. Or Misty in my graveyard for Ren. I should take the other one still. And then Steam Vents. Shock. Been sitting too long today. Did make a construct? I have a pithy needle. I think I shall fetch. I don't get needled. They're probably just gonna go get the rack, I assume. It'll be fatal push. Either way, might as well bolt them, right? Expedition map for another one. Four mana. Not Shieldred. Anything but Shieldred. <laughs> Standard all-star Shieldred coming back to bite me. This is March. Escape shift. Alright, well I need one more land. I actually need two more lands. Arrived too early escape shift. Now I don't need you yet. Maybe I can hit a Renin 6 off this growth spiral. Besage you. Ah, question of the day. Do I besage you the Urza Saga or do I put it into play? I think I put it into play. Say go. 5 for 6 for 18. I guess I probably should have done that. Now if they draw a discard spell, I'm screwed. That's not one of them that makes me screwed. So land kills them. Bingo. That's super lucky. But it's ugly Valakut too. I should, you're right though. I should have done it for 18. To the natural land drop. Would have been better. Yeah, it was weak to lithoform. Alright, 3-2. I mean, this deck's fine. It's not my cup of tea, though. I've never been a huge, like, scapeshift fanatic. Unlike Demonic Tutors. But I think this deck was cool. It was fun to play. That's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all for hanging out today. It was really fun playing our game. And losing it. Have you peaked? Bing bong. Bing bong. Bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>